let me tell you guys why I like this tool belt so much. Let me just get rid of this now. Why I like it so much is you can just go like that. Hammer is in. Really good. Just like that. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning back in. Now with over 34,000 and a quarter subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We like to uh, do just small repairs around the house and review tools and that sort of thing. A little bit of fun in between. Today we have a water damage ceiling above me and we want to cut that out. We want to take about a meter by a meter out, maybe a bit more, a meter and a half by a meter and a half. Got my lovely assistant Eugene, he's working next door. Should be pretty easy. Actually a long way from home. It's freezing cold outside, it's windy outside. So we're enjoying being indoors today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to you want to gather exactly where you want to cut out. So we want to take it from about here to here to there. Our sheets are 1200 wide. So we're probably going to do a 12 on by 1200 right over this light here. The electrician came already and he's taken the light out. So probably the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure that up uh, so it can go in the exact same place where it was. 1935 We're going to be painting this when we're all done so don't worry about getting it on there By the way these tape measures really good they extend really far without snapping uh, they have a magnetized head on it, really good. Been using it for maybe a couple of months now. Looking at the damage, we want to take out at least from about here to about there, over to here. It looks like there's a joint going down here. We're going to go straight over that. We get a starting point. Measure off this wall. Go um, 1400 off, 1400 off here, one more down here. And if you're by yourself, what I like to do, I just get a screw, buzz that through, get my chalk line. There's your starting point. Mark our 1200s, because our sheet's 1200. Once again, put a little screw in. Get your chalk line. And if we look at how far our 1200 reaches this way, that's going to go there. It'll go a bit longer because our sheet is 2400. I do have a little laser 
which I'll be able to get a good right angle so our sheet is nice and square so I'll just line it up with our lines so a little bit of fiddling around We've got our lines running nicely like that so we're just going to um, follow that along. Alright guys, now that it is all marked out, nice and square, we're going to cut it out. And we're going to cut it out with my favourite tool, and you know what it is. It's the Makita cordless drywall sander, link in the description. Head out and buy one if you don't have one, it's the best tool ever. We need to get a battery. Eugene, have you got a battery I can borrow my man? Yeah. Oh, he's got, he's got a Makita jacket on right now. Some now, bud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's got one right here. We've got one battery, one bar left. It's five amp. But it is a five amp, so that should get the job done. Let's cut this out. your center so it's really easy to see where you're going and you can see that the blade finishes here so you just bring it up to there you line it up with these side bits and that's how you know when to stop very easy it's a very light tool I don't know how heavy it is I'd have to look on the box but it beats getting a Stanley knife and everything. If you see my other videos, you'll know that it's gonna save you as this cable's in the way. in case you are by yourself doing a repair I'm just going to cut it in half so when I pull it down it's not so big and doesn't fall on my head and it's not a danger
that's it, that's your cut out. So as soon as you've got a cut out, you want to save time, you want to denail and take all the little screws out. And you want to do that, get the sheet up as fast as you can, and then get the first coat on as fast as you can. So that's exactly what we're going to do. You don't want one of these repairs taken all day. Okay, it's been fixed before because I noticed there's nails and there's screws. So it's really good to have everything you need right in one place. Have a nail bag, something like that. Let me tell you guys why I like this tool belt so much. Let me just get rid of this now. Why I like it so much is you can just go like that. Hammer is in. Really good. Just like that. Just bought this tool belt yesterday. Not yesterday, a few days ago. Really love it. So easy. You don't even have to think. guys enough playing around I'm gonna finish preparing this I'm gonna add some timber around the perimeter probably get my nail gun out and shoot into the here add some timber on the back there we're gonna put the sheet straight on and we're gonna set it straight away and get it moving cut some timber for here and there uh, and we'll put a couple of pieces into here so let's go ahead and do that I've got my drop saw right outside here it's gonna be super windy we're gonna do it anyway. Also got my pads load nail gun, which we're gonna shoot into that hardwood. There's my drop saw, let's get it done. Hello, Max speaking.
also going to screw where the existing timbers are out a little bit. Okay guys, now we are ready to fit our sheet. This is pretty easy, this uh, cable hasn't moved a bit. So let's measure our sheet and let's install it.